Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I've been having to work the last four days, so we are taking Tate to school because the sooner he's at school, the sooner I can go to sleep, and trust me, your girl needs it. So a little backstory, Tate goes with his dad on the weekends, and for consistency purpose with his schedule, I try and work the days he's with his dad, so the other days can be focused on helping him stick to his normal weekly routine of school, sleeping in his own bed, etc. He only goes to school two days a week, and I try to line my last day of work up to being his first day of school for the week. It doesn't always work that way, but I try. It gives me a chance to reset and have some time to myself instead of hopping from one caregiver role to the other. One thing I've noticed about us caregivers is we love to give. I mean, it's in the name, right? Caregiver? Let's actually break this word down. Caregiver, a person who gives care to people who need help taking care of themselves. Google goes on to say this includes children, elderly, patients with chronic illness, those that are disabled, etc. AKA, that sounds a lot like me, a mom and a nurse. Also, insert most of us watching this vlog right now. As a caregiver, we have the tendency to give so much of ourselves to the people we are caring for. We give our time, our physical strength, our mental strength, sometimes finances, and so much more. But if we took a second and try to compare that time to the time we give ourselves, I guarantee many of us would be quite unequal. I mean, the reality is that tip scale doesn't benefit anyone. As a nurse, if I don't have off days to take care of myself, then when it's time to be with my patients, I'll lack in many ways. Physically, I won't have the stamina to work a full 12 hour shift. Mentally, I won't be sharp enough not to cause my patient any harm. And so many other areas will lack. I don't want my patients to get that kind of nurse. As a mom, I can tell you right now, when I don't take my daily breaks, I am 100% less patient, less fun, and honestly, nobody anybody wants to be around. I don't want my child to get that kind of mom either. It's important to me the people in my life always experience the best version of me. And let's be honest, they don't always, but I try my hardest. And on the days they don't get the best of me, I can 100% connect it to some sort of lack of care on my part. Lack of sleep, lack of food, or lack of mental rest. We all know what they say, right? You can't pour from an empty cup. So here are some ways that I use my off days to truly refill my cup. Let's start with a good breakfast. Breakfast is my favorite meal of the day, and I have it literally no matter what time I wake up. 1 p.m., 2 p.m., 10 a.m. I mean, who can resist a good waffle or French toast? When I have a meal upon waking up, I can literally feel the difference from the days I don't. I'm less sluggish and tired, and overall I'm mentally sharper and can focus on tasks longer. A second way I refill my cup is by trying to have a clean space. Now, emphasis on the word try because my house is already so full we're bursting at the seams. But with back-to-back -back work days and being gone half the week, things tend to get out of place. So I'll redo the laundry, wash the dishes, pick up toys Tater left around, and whatever else I can that just gives the overall clean enough feel. Before we move on to the next tip, here's a little super tip. Sometimes adding the word enough onto the end of something is enough. Clean enough, dressed enough, complete enough. Oftentimes we strive for such perfection that it literally cripples us from ever starting or ever finishing. Don't be too hard on yourself. A final way I refill my cup is by getting dressed. This is fairly new for me, like within the last week, but I've noticed that when I don't get dressed, I get a lot less done. Whether it's sweats and a t-shirt, and trust me, that does not always include a bra, but anything that's not my pajamas makes me feel a lot more focused for the day. It also keeps me out of bed longer. I mean, if my pajamas are on, I will literally hop in and out of bed three to four times a day. As a caregiver, it's super easy to forget your place in the midst of the madness. I mean, that's why we're so good at what we do. We're selfless. But I want us to be careful that we're not too selfless, that we give too much and don't keep any of us for ourselves. Carrie Ann Moss, the Canadian actress most known for her series in Matrix, once said, Self-care is so much more than a beauty regimen or an external thing you do. It has to start within your heart to know what you need to navigate your life. So today I ask you the question, 
Do you know what you need to navigate your life? Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Hello.